Out 1041 St. Louis, the source for hip hop and R&B. It's your favorite homeboy on your airwaves, Jay Phipps. And man, right now I got one of the one of the craziest artists, man. Out of interview, man. What's up, Lizanne? How you doing, man? What's up? Man, what's up with you? I heard you just came from Minnesota, man. Yeah. How was that flight? It was quick, you know, like an hour and twenty. It's just so so cold in Minnesota. I'm happy to be in a little warmer spot. Explain how you came with the name Lizan. Like, where did where did they come from? Uh, of course, Xanax. I mean, I'm not I'm not yeah, stupid, yeah, but yeah, I'm saying yeah. like um, it was given to me by uh, a friend at the time. We was uh, it was my first my first South by Southwest. I was a photographer, you know, rolling with the same people that you know helped me come up. Um, and uh, yeah, we was just in, walking down I think Maine and like or six or something. And we just stopped in this, you know, little dinky uh, liquor store. And I was just, you know, gone off the, the substance, you know. And then my friend was like, man, you, you be so faded off that. I'm just going to call you with Zan. And it kind of just stuck. Now, did you have a drug addiction with it? Oh, of course. When I turned 18, actually my 18th birthday was the first day I took Zan. And I went to Benny Hanna's. And I remember I was with a couple friends. And I just remember waking up, like... Uh, like my head was just on the table. They're like, "Yo, the food's ready." And I'm like, "Man, this stuff is crazy." Right. <laughs> but I rocked with it because I had I actually have anxiety, um, so I you know it made me feel normal. Got addicted, unfortunately, to that and and some other stuff. But uh, we good now. We definitely in the better. That's good. That's good. You just know real quick because it's a like a lot of people gonna see this interview. So thousands yeah. of kids gonna see this interview. Yeah. If you can, um, can you let the kids know like, yo? People want to do it because it's cool. People think oh, it's just yeah. like the cool thing to do. That was something that always like blew my mind, you know, because like I really do suffer from anxiety terribly. And I got addicted originally because I was prescribed out of there, which is like the same stuff, you know, and that got me hooked on it. So I was really taking it to feel normal mm -hmm. and also get high, you know, at the same time. Right. But it did make me feel normal. So it's, it, it amazes me. That it, like these kids with like no anxiety just love like abusing it i was like man that's crazy like i was you know but like uh anyways no like it it's like don't it's not cool it's just not cool you know what i mean i know it's promoted i don't have anything against any other rapper promoting it like that's their thing i listen to that music too but personally it's not cool like you don't gotta be you don't gotta pop zans to be cool and it, it's kind of sad that that's like a thing nowadays that that's like you know like what the thing is you got to do drugs you got to really do what the rappers are like talking about right it's just you know you don't got to rock with that and you know i think that's where my fan base is so different than other fan bases because it's so positive and like when they meet me they tell me you know that i help them with their problems anxiety from addiction and that's really what i do this for is to help kids with the same stuff i went through so, you know, the youth is everything.